Time Trial Ghosts are a fun way to showcase the player's best time to beat, or even some insane run you found on the internet. They give players something to strive for and provide a great learning tool, allowing them to observe how the pros get things done. They can also be a pain in the ass to get right. Luckily for you, I've gone to the trouble of doing so, and I'm providing it to you for free in the description. Setup is easy. Plunk a player controller in your scene. For this, I'll be using my Ultimate 2D controller. This is the extended version, so it includes things like double jump, dash, and crouch. Click the link in the top right to watch a video on this controller. In the demo scene, I have a few triggers which simulate a lap. You hit start, then collect the star, and then just head back to the finish line. We need a script to utilize this recorder. So I've created this Ghost Runner script, but you can use your existing unit manager script or whatever suits your game. Create an instance of the replay system, providing the mono behavior as a constructor parameter. This is just used as a runner for the coroutines. Inside the script, I'm hooking into the event I mentioned earlier. If the run is started, I begin recording, feeding in the target I'd like to record and the frame accuracy. This defaults to two so that it records every second fixed frame, which gives a pretty smooth recording, but you can reduce it to one for an even smoother experience at the expense of a bigger file size. Next, we attempt to play a recording. There's a few recording types available, such as the current best player run, the last run, and the saved run. Saved run is useful for watching other players on the leaderboard, or if a friend sends you some run data. We provide an instantiated game object to act as a ghost. I did it this way to give you the freedom to instantiate and possibly set up the object before passing it to the replay. Right now, we don't have any run data, so it'll just destroy the ghost object and return. If on the other hand the run is ending, we finish the run and stop whatever replay is currently in motion. In the inspector, hook up the recorder target and give it a ghost prefab to use. Let's try it out. By the way, I've published a game using my 2D controller with an online leaderboard. If you think you've got what it takes, jump in and see if you can reach the top 10. You can click a player on the leaderboard to race their ghosts. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. As it stands, this recorder only supports 2D, but you should have an easy time expanding it to 3D. On my Patreon, I'll be extending this script to support full 3D, rewind, playback speed, and event triggers. So for example, if a unit crouches or shoots, you can now include those in your playbacks. Plus, of course, you'll get access to my extended 2D controller and whatever other goodies I release in the future. Anyway, that's about it. Farewell.